Here's another one. I'm hurting while I'm here. And another you one. You know the no more. I can't keep running back to you. Hey guys, Kelsey here and I'm back with another video and I'm in a new layout because today I'm going to be doing my hair and today I'm going to be straightening it. Um, this is actually my first time ever straightening my hair since um, I've cut it. Well, I didn't cut it, but since I got it cut in uh, March. So I got it cut to my shoulders and I got a blunt cut. So we're going to see how it turns out. And I also actually did cut my hair. I tried to give myself bangs. So we're going to see how that looks because... I don't really think that was a good idea. So we're gonna see how it looks now when I straighten it and let's go ahead and get started. So I've already washed and conditioned it. Um, and I did, so this is the heat protection I use, which is this Silk Elements Mega Silk. Um, and I sprayed some of that already in my hair. I don't know if I'm gonna spray any more because it tends to get like a little bit too greasy. So I'm just gonna start by combing through my hair because my hair is pretty, it's pretty tangled right now, so. So now I'm just going to section off my hair to get it ready to blow dry. And yeah, so I'm just combing out again just to make, you know, basically when your hair is combed out before you blow dry, it makes it a lot easier. So I'm just doing that. Okay, so I honestly usually put mine on the highest temperature as well as the highest speed. And I use this blow dryer. I use this blow dryer, which is Silverbird. Um, I like it. Only thing I don't like, which I think this happens with most blow dryers, is that this thing always slips off. So, yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start blow drying. So as you can see what I'm talking about, it just fell and I don't know where it went. So let's let's try that again. Okay, so I did like most of the bottom part. It took me like um, three minutes. And now we just have the, the top left. I am feeling how this feels. And I'm definitely not going to be adding any more heat protectant, any more product, period. Because I'm kind of scared that it's going to be greasy. But I don't know why it's like that. So the only thing I put in it was heat protectant. So, yeah. So, and I, I feel like this happens to me a lot where I, I accidentally put too much product. So, I'm not going to be putting any more heat protectant, any more product, none of that. Hopefully, this, because it, it just feels real oily right now. So, hopefully, it doesn't um, look stiff once I'm finished. But we shall see. So, yeah. So, now we're just going to finish blow dry. Okay, so I'm done at below drying and it actually looks so funny like we're having a blood cut. <laughs> yeah, this looks really funny. So this is what my bangs looks like. I think it's gonna blend fine. I don't think it's gonna look too like weird. But yes, I feel like a lion. This is what we're looking like right now. Um and when I'm back, I will be flattering it. I will not, like I said, I will not be adding any more product. It does not need anymore. So, look, it might look kind of dry on camera, but like in real life, it is greasy. So, yeah. See you guys in like two seconds. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. Um, so, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Okay. Come on, that was just her birthday. Anywho, so I like or I have my flat irons on 390. I got this little tool. I got this little tool from Sally's like like a couple of years ago. And I tried it and it did not like it was very kind of difficult to use. So I'm actually gonna try it again. So um if it doesn't work, I also have a wide tooth comb, but it is plastic, so I don't wanna like uh melt it. So we're gonna try to use this again. It's supposed to do the same like chase method. I'm sorry I keep looking at the viewfinder. Um so yeah, so basically I'm just gonna section off my hair. So basically what I do is I like to do one, uh, what's the word? One press through if I can. Um, to help me do that, I kind of try to like hit my roots a little bit. So I might go one, two, three, and then down. Um, just because my roots are harder to get to. So I'm gonna try to, I'm going to try to use this and see if it works. Okay, so yeah, that was a lot faster with my red toe cone. So now I'm just gonna finish the top of my head. Alright, so this is what it's looking like right now. Um, I'm just trying to decide if I want to like put my bangs to the side or curl them or something. Because I feel like it looks kind of weird right now. I should have never cut bangs. But so yeah, so I believe this is going to be at the end of the video, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, yeah, so I'm going to it okay. I just feel like if it was less greasy, it would work better for me. Um, and although I cut my hair, I don't think it really grew too much since I cut it. Uh, it seems like it looks thicker, probably because I've had a blunt cut. Um, so I thought it would be a little bit easier to straighten, and I feel like it was much harder. So, yeah. So thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.